So hi and welcome to Jim's Radio Shop. We're working on the Bemoscope General Electric's uh, antenna that it uh, developed. It's a super antenna. Well, I'm not sure how super it really is. But I'm sure it helped them sell their, their radios. So uh, this particular antenna, it's, it's a problem. It's related to these wires and the insulation is completely gone on. They're shorting out them. You can't fool around with one of these. Antennas, they are forming uh, part of the RF circuitry in the front end of the radio. So, I've been working along for quite a while now. I've removed this piece from the top. I can take out a lot of staples. I removed staples from around this edge here. I disconnected this wire, which was soldered to the copper at the top. This is copper, copper sheet. I'm now very hopeful that I'm able to extract this wooden top off, that it's simply held on, uh, it's just sitting on top of some uh, wooden dowels. Exactly how I'm going to yank on it, I'm not sure. Hmm. Yeah. Easier said than done, that's for sure. I kind of knew what was under this this cover. Now let's uh, let's I don't know that the cover is not a functional component. Anyway, there's a seam back here. Let's open it at the seam. So we'll take out these staples. Interesting that I'm covered and covered anyway. I'm quite curious about what's inside this this guy. Now this was supposed to. Uh, convince radio buyers that uh, this radio with this incredible antenna in here would uh, perform as well as an aerial, which outdoor antenna, of course is a big hassle to put up an aerial. I have to take some of these out too. Okay, drum roll please. Here it comes. Oh my lord, it's pretty cool. I'll have to take all these bottom staples out and the cover right off it. right back. Lighting just a little bit better. Okay. I 
I seem to say okay a lot. Don't I? something more to it myself. There's something in this. I'm sure there's a little bit of hocus pocus in this. The marketing boys came in and said, hey, other guys, they got a wave magnet. A wave magnet. What do we got? And they came up with a Bemascope. Which is a pretty interesting name, if you ask me. Seems to be nothing but heavy card, card, heavy, uh, heavy cardboard. That's all it is. It's nothing to this. Are there wires in there? Scope revealed, gentlemen. Have a look. Okay, we're going to stop at this point. Hope you enjoyed that reveal. See you next time.